My dear friends, welcome back to this part 3 of the video The Alien Planet, The Green Movement's Rule by Nani Palkiwala Dear friends, I hope that you have been waiting eagerly for this video upload and I am very sorry that I was so late to upload this video because unfortunately two weeks back I fell down and I broke my hand and I had to go for a surgery and I was in inscrutable pain I was uh, lying down on the bed and I was not able to get up and do anything so dear friends please forgive me for my delay and I hope that you will understand my problem so here we go with the third part of the video that is the Alien Planet Green Movement's role. so here we start with part 3 paragraph 11 deteriorated environment that is the heading of this paragraph it is a very short paragraph here we start a three-year study using satellites and aerial photography conducted by the United Nations warns that the environment has deteriorated so badly that it is critical in many of the 88 countries investigated. Now the word meanings and explanation. Deteriorated means became worse. The students, the planet, their condition. Uh, has gone from bad to worse day by day okay and the United Nations uh, the United Nations have already uh, already warned the world that if we don't take any necessary step immediately we are going to face the consequence right so let's start with the next paragraph that is paragraph 12 we can give the title of this paragraph as Population Explosion. There can be no doubt that the growth of world population is one of the strongest factors distorting the future of human society. It took mankind more than a million years to reach first billion. That was the world population around the year 1800. By the year 1900, a second billion was added and the 20th century has added another 3.7 billion. The present world population is estimated at 5.7 billion. Every four days the world population increases by 1 million. Dear friends, actually the present world population is much more than 5.7 billion so make sure that it is. it was written in the year 1994 so that time Nani Palkiwala's estimated population, I mean record population was 5.7 billion but now it is much more, it is 7.6 if I'm not wrong, 7.6 or something like that. So it's really huge population in the world right now. Dear friends, so the population is going to be the one of the most important uh, or crucial problems of the world that the, this world is getting polluted, getting ailed, getting sick. Right, so we have to take care of that, dear, dear students. Now the word meaning, distorting means destroying, right? Distorting future of human society means our future is getting destroyed, get, getting distorted. And billion, billion is 100 crore according to the Indian, uh, what is called calculation, right? So we come to the next paragraph that is paragraph 13. Uh, we can give this heading, development is the best contraceptive. Fertility falls as incomes rise, education spreads and health improves. Thus, development is the best contraceptive. But development itself may not be possible if the present increase in numbers continues. So, we have to develop the countries, we have to develop the nations, we have to develop the whole areas of the world. Development does not mean at the cost of nature, at the cost of the environment, right? So we have to have sustainable development and that could help the people of the world to understand that the population growth is one of the most important problems of this ailing planet and we can take measures when we are educated when we know that what is the impending danger that we are going to face in future then we will definitely take step against that right so that is very very important my dear friends my dear students to understand right so what meaning look what meaning fertility? Fertility means state of being fertile. Means when uh, fertility means it's a very fertile land or the place where something can grow very easily. Okay, 
Now we come to the next paragraph, paragraph 14. The title of this paragraph could be Controlling Population. The rich get richer and the poor beget children. Beget means uh, give birth to. Beget children which condemns them to remain poor. More children does not mean more workers, merely more people without work. It is not suggested that human beings be treated like cattle and compulsorily sterilized. But there is no alternative to voluntary family planning without introducing an element of caution. The choice is really between control of population and perpetuation of poverty. Dear students, dear friends, the word meanings and explanation. Word meanings, number one, condemns means dooms. Sterilized means to make a person unable to have babies. And caution means force. And perpetuation means continuation for a long time. Dear students, now controlling population is very, very important. And we cannot force the people to, to, to control the population. But we have to make them understand. We have to make them realize that if unless we control the population, we are going to face the consequence of the impending danger that we are already facing and it is going to increase day by day. That's what the author wants to mean here, right? So we have to control the population, but it should not be forced. Quotient means C-O-E-R-C-I-O and quotient means force. It should not be forced, right? It should come voluntarily and we have to motivate the people to do so, okay? So here we come to the next paragraph, that is paragraph 15. Now we come to Indian population. This is the heading of this paragraph could be Indian population. The population of India is estimated to be 920 million today. 1 million means 10 lakh, right? Today. Actually, once again, I'd like to remind you, students, it, it was written in, it was published in 1994. So make sure that at that time, now today this is much more than what it is written here. So the population of India is estimated to be 920 million today. More than the entire populations of Africa and South America put together. No one familiar with the conditions in India would doubt that the hope of the people would die in their hungry hutments unless population control is given topmost priority. So it is really very important that Indian population the second largest in the world right now. Okay, China being the first, I mean the highest populated country in the world. But India is moving very, very close to China and it will overtake China very soon. So Indian government and Indian people should understand that we must control the population in order to help our mother earth. We have to have a place to live in. So that is the message here. The word meanings, priority means precedence and hutments means encampments of huts, means slum areas, the areas where the poor people live, right? So that is the meaning of hutments. Dear students, I come to paragraph number 16, transcending concern, right? Transcending concern means extreme concern, worry. The heading of this paragraph could be transcending concern. For the first time in human history, we see a transcending concern, the survival not just of the people, but of the planet. We have begun to take a holistic view of the very basis of our existence. The environmental problem does not necessarily signal our demise. It is our passport for the future. The emerging new world vision has ushered in era of responsibility. It is a holistic view, an ecological view, seeing the world as an integrated whole rather than a dissociated collection of parts. Dear friends and students, transcending concern because we are extremely worried about what's going to happen to our country, to our world, to our nature and the next generation the people of that generation, they are going to face the problem. And we have to be very, very careful right now. Okay? Transcending concern means exceeding desire to protect, exceeding worry to protect, protect this mother earth. Demise means end or failure. Number three, emerging means becoming known or transpire. Ushered in means began. 
Integrated means closely connected. And number six, dissociated means not connected. Right. So in this paragraph, we see that there is extreme concern that we should do something to save this Mother Earth, to save this nature, to save this world. And we all have to come together to do so. Okay. Dear friends, now I come to paragraph number 17. The role of industry. This could be the heading of this paragraph. Industry has a most crucial role to play in this new era of responsibility. What a transformation would be effected if more businessmen shared the view of the chairman of DuPont, Mr. Edgar S. Ullard, who five years ago declared himself to be the company's chief environmental officer, he said. Our continued existence as a leading manufacturer requires that we excel in environmental performance. Dear friends, an excellent idea by Mr. Edgar S. Ullard. He called himself the chief environmental officer, not chief executive officer, CEO. We understand we are the chief of the company, organization, and we, uh, we enjoy that position. But Mr. Ullard, he understood that no, we should not call ourselves as the executive officer. We should call ourselves environmental officers. That means we must protect Dear friends, if everybody, all these executives, industrial executives, think in the same manner, this world will be much more changed than what it is today. Okay, whenever there is a construction, whenever there, whenever there is a building, we always feel that we need to protect this Mother Earth, right? And we should think just like Mr. Ullard. So, dear friends, you understand that we have to Think in that manner, just like Mr. Ullard. Okay, now the word meanings, the word meanings and explanation. Effected, effected means made something happen. DuPont, it is conglomerate company. DuPont is the world's eighth largest chemical producer. Edgar S. Ullard Jr. He was born in the year 1934. He is an American businessman. He was chairman and chief executive officer of DuPont from 1989 to 1995. Dear friends, now I come to the next paragraph that is paragraph number 18. And I can give the title of this paragraph as Borrowed Planet. Of all the statements made by Margaret Thatcher during the years of her prime ministership, None has passed so decisively into the current coin of English uses as her felicitous words. No generation has a freehold on this earth. All we have is a life tenancy with a full repairing lease. In the words of Mr. Lester Brown, we have not inherited this earth from our forefathers. We have borrowed it from our children. Dear friends, it is very, very Important to remember that we have borrowed this planet just from the children. When you borrow something from the children, it is very important that you have to return it. Otherwise, it's really very bad on your part. So we have to remember this, that we have borrowed this planet from the children. Now the word meanings, word meanings and explanation. Margaret Thatcher, Margaret Hilda Thatcher, Baroness Thatcher was a British stateswoman who was Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1979 to 1990 and leader of the Conservative Party from 1975 to 1990. Decisively, in a manner that settles an issue convincingly or produces a definite result. Felicitous. Felicitous means apt, pertinent, right? Freehold. Freehold means permanent and absolute tenure of land or property with freedom to dispose of it at will. Tenancy. Tenancy means possession of land or property as a tenant. Inherited. Inherited means received and borrowed. Borrowed means to take and use something that belongs to somebody else and return it later. Right? Dear friends, this borrowing of the planet we got to be very very careful that we have borrowed this planet and we have to return it as it is right 
and remember that we have borrowed it from the children and we have to be very very careful when we are using this planet it's not my paternal property it's something that i borrowed from a child from the children and they need to get it back once again as good or as fresh as it is right dear friends that brings us to the end of this lesson in this lesson i have given you just the explanation and the word meanings of the lesson and in my next video i will give you the question and answer that means understanding the text and the uses of words and i hope that you have enjoyed this video if you have liked this video enjoyed this video please give me your thumbs up and subscribe and share this video with your friends and don't forget to comment it always encourages me to make more and more videos for you thank you have a good day